In the point of view, the National Minimum Wage Commission has recommended the minimum wage rate for the year be adjusted to 23 rand an hour from 21 rand 69 rand per hour. These adjustments would also be extended to domestic workers, gardeners, drivers, caretakers and nannies. Now, in 2021, the minimum wage for domestic workers was at 19 rand and 9 cents an hour, while for everyone else, it was at 21 rand 69. For more on this, we're joined by the General Secretary of the South African Domestic Service and Allied Workers Union, Myrtle Vitboy. Very good morning to you. Thank you so much for your time. You're proposing a hike in the national min minimum wage. And uh, as far as the numbers are concerned, at least the hourly rate, it, 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 it's quite clear that uh, domestic workers are not on par with the latest numbers and earnings. What does this mean for domestic workers? Yeah, good morning and thank you for inviting me to your show. I think that, you know, we need to say, the first thing that we would say is that at last domestic workers got recognition as workers that have to earn the same wage as all other workers. But in reality, yes, it's a big increase. It's quite a big step. It's quite a big increase to go from 19 to 23 rand. And in reality, yes, it makes a little bit of difference to the life of domestic workers. But we need to understand we have three types of domestic workers. We have a domestic worker that stays on the premises, and then we have a domestic worker that works daily or once a week or twice a week, and we have a domestic worker that must travel every day. So in between, it makes a, it makes a difference for the person, maybe, the domestic worker that sleeps on the premises because she has more benefits. And also, the domestic worker that travel every day, you yourself know, traveling is very expensive. So if we look for the domestic worker salary, if she was eight hours, it went to 184, 185. And we think from that, she must travel from Kailicha or from a township. A, a whole bulk of that goes on to traveling. But in reality, yes. We are grateful and we are thankful that domestic workers are now going up. That domestic workers at, at least add that to the, you know, monthly basket. But uh, we still say that domestic workers deserve much more than what was offered. But we also, in reality, we, we also look at, if you look at the comments, if you look at how many employers are saying, I've got to do my own work now, I, I, you know, I can't afford the extra money. We, we, we have to balance. But we believe that domestic worker is much worse. We believe the domestic workers is entitled, and we do see that a little bit of extra will go, you know, some way of making a little bit of difference in the grocery basket, if nothing else. Absolutely. As we try and look at implementation processes, how far along the process are you to ensuring that this it does indeed become a reality when it comes to your talks and speed at which the Department of Labor and Employment is moving at? Yes, I think that in reality, if we look at, yes, we look at, at, at the, the, the national wage, we look at the, the, the compensation act, we look at a lot of different labor laws. Yes, the concern is here yeah, now. When we had the, the, the COVID-19 and we had this uh, unemployment fund, we failed the domestic workers, right? The Department of Labor failed the domestic workers. Now we're going into COIDA on, on compensation. It's the beautiful labor laws. Now we're going into the national minimum wage. How are we going to ensure that enough inspectors, how are we going to ensure that this wage will work for domestic workers. How are we going to ensure that the Department of Labor is really, really going to be strict now on employers and going to be strict to work together with unions and with that side to ensure that domestic workers will enjoy all this benefit? Because if we look, you know, if you look at South Africa, you have to say, yes, I'm a little bit proud of South Africa because we have all the labor laws. But then you say, but... Where is that labor law? And that is what we are, are very much unsure for. We are very much worried about it, and we are discussing it this afternoon in our meeting. How are we going to ensure that domestic workers are going to benefit? And if you look also, the Department of Labor has said, during the COVID-19, 250,000 domestic workers have lost their job. We took us to 750,000. 
if you look at the relief statement when the minimum, national minimum wage comes up, they say 999,000 domestic workers are again, you know, working as domestic workers. This shows you clearly there is a need for domestic workers, but it also have to put, we have to start working with employers. We have to start educating employers. We have to start saying, you know, this is our rights and this is what we want. So, so that's the concern. The concern is that how are we going to ensure that domestic workers benefit from all these labor rights and especially now that extra little bit of money that can put the extra bit of food in their, in their basket. You make mention of something important. You speak about uh, the uh, education for employers, which is uh, crucial. I mean, it's all well to have uh, an act that uh, is set to uh, prioritize workers and ensure that they are able to make a, a more, um, you know, that they don't live in poverty. How and what efforts will be made to ensure that employers are aware and, um, you know, do comply to ensure that domestic workers earn this uh, a salary? You know, the, uh, currently, if you look at, at, at our modern life and if you look at the, at, at the life of domestic workers, you see there's a lot of changes in the life. Domestic workers have now become aware of the new world we're living in, the technology, the watch up and things like that. And you notice that domestic workers are also now trying to get into technology and, and understanding their cell phones and things like that. And that is one way of how, you know, you can have like a little bit of clips and you put it on WhatsApp and domestic workers will have access to this WhatsApp to understand. But also the Department of Labor has now decided to have ambitions. I know, I'm sure you know what it is, where they go and talk a lot. And they say to domestic workers, a lot of promises, they promise domestic workers there's going to be inspectors on the road, there's going to be a lot of things. But I think that last year we took a resolution and we signed an agreement that we will try to work together with the Department of Labor to ensure that domestic workers will understand their rights. You see the matter is, it's not a matter of the Satsau members or union members. It's a matter of the domestic sector out there. It's a matter of the domestic workers out there. So our role is, our role is not about we want a workers, Satsau members and things like that. Our role is to make sure that domestic workers are going to understand. Domestic workers will understand they are important. Domestic workers will understand and know their rights. And the one way we can do that, like Satsau is doing, having a bus stops and, you know, the COVID-19 has stopped us of so many things, giving out pamphlets, putting in languages that they understand their rights. And that is the way, if we work together with the Department of Labor, and if really, really the Department of Labor is serious about, you know, domestic workers, and like I said before, you know, the labor laws are made, and that's it. You want it, you have it. But we have to ensure that we keep tap on the Department of Labor now that we are in contact with them and say, this is it now. And if you look in the world, researchers and researchers are done, where to now? We need to see now that we are going somewhere for domestic workers and that we will ensure that domestic workers understand their yeah. rights and yeah. that we will ensure that they are there. Thank you. Now, according to the notice uh, from the Department of Labor along the National Minimum Wage Act, it speaks to the act being able to provide for exemptions for employers who truly cannot afford the adjustment. Now, this could be a situation where you back to square one, allowing employers that loophole to say that, well, they cannot afford the, the um, required fees. What will these adjustments entail? What will it mean that, uh, they, that there are exemptions for employers who cannot afford the required fees? Yeah, I think, uh, you know, when it comes to the employers, when it comes to the Department of Labor, you know, make sure that employers are on board. We find that when you try to invite employers 
to come to a meeting, when you try to invite employers to come and listen, you find you find a good employer. You find a good employer. I'm doing all that. I know all that. So I think that even in the Department of Labor, they have to ensure what the president of the country has said to us last year. Many more inspectors are going to employ for the domestic sector. But also by employing that inspectors to go around and ensure that employers understand and employers know the rights and employers will agree to the national minimum wage. We have to ensure that when we have the inspectors, there's a follow up, that employers will, you know, follow the line. And, and, we, and we're constantly going to remind the Department of Labor how they fail with the unemployment fund. We're constantly going to remind them that when it comes to COVID-19, 250,000 domestic workers did not get payment. So I think that, you know, as much as before, the unions were saying, we don't work with employers. I think when it comes to the domestic worker situation, it's two women in one kitchen. And I think that is what we must work on. We must start educating the employers also. And I think there is a, there is a, 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 a social law project which is in South Africa in Cape Town. They are trying to reach out to employers. They are trying to ask employers. They send out papers to employers. But I can, I can tell you that the response from the employers was very vague. And there's big employers' bodies. There's big employers' bodies that, that is there. Why is that they, they kind of come on board and say, yes, let us work together with the Department of Labor. Let us ensure that the employers will follow and that the employers will make sure that domestic workers know their rights together with us. Because we are tired of where the, all the, the knowledge is in the employer's hands and we know nothing. So we want to change that situation. Very well. Thank you so much uh, for weighing in on this discussion. That was the General Secretary of the South African Domestic Service and Allied Workers Union, Myrtle Witboy, saying that the national minimum wage, uh, the minimum wage for domestic workers should be on par with that of other workers at 23 rand per hour.